Air quality deterioration is a huge problem globally. Countries which face this problem use a measurement system in order to monitor the air quality and combat this pollution. This system used is known as the air quality index. The devices used to measure this air quality index are called air quality monitoring system, similar to what we are going to build today. These air quality monitoring system can monitor the air quality in your surrounding and then can inform you early on about it. So you can save your environment and yourself. Now without any further ado, let's dive straight into the making. The components we need to make this project are DHT11 sensor which is used to detect temperature and humidity, MQ135 sensor used to detect level of harmful gases like sulfur, ammonia etc. An OLED display, the Arduino microcontroller, a breadboard and a few jumper wires. Now how this will work is pretty simple. The Arduino is the center of the project which will take data from the sensors and then display it directly on the OLED. Here's the complete circuit diagram for the project so you can replicate it. For more info about it, you can refer to the blog linked in the description. So here's how the project looks after we've interfaced it. Now let's connect the Arduino to our computer and then program it. So this is our complete code for the air quality monitoring system. At the top, we have imported all the libraries, mainly the library for our OLED and our DHT11 sensor, which you can see here. And then we have defined the width and height of our OLED. Uh, we have given the reset pin. And then we have inputted all these in this display parameter, screen width, height, reset, etc. We have defined which pins on the Arduino or sensor will be connected to, like the A0 gas sensor is connected to the A0 pin and our DHT pin is connected to the pin 2. We have defined the initial values. So the initial value here for the quality is empty and for the gas level is zero. These variables we have uh, like defined early on only. Now what we do next is we've created this void sensor function right here. What it does is it reads the data from the DHT11 sensor uh, and then stores it in different values like humidity and temperature for H and T. Then if it is not able to read, the Arduino is not able to read the data from the sensor, you know, it will not return anything, right? After that is done, when we have the humidity and temperature value stored in a variable, we'll display it on the OLED screen using this code. We also have another function for our uh, gas sensor. So we have, uh, you know, we have a variable called as gas level. We are reading the values from the sensor. Then if that value is less than 151, the quality of air is good. If it is between 151 and 200, the quality is poor. And so does this goes on. So from here to here. Now what we do here is similar. What we do here is we display it all on the OLED screen, the gas level, which we initially saw here. And what is the quality? So the quality could be good, poor, very bad, toxic, anything. So that all will be displayed on the OLED. Now the void setup is an important function here. We start the serial communication and then we, you know, we initialize our display. We put some text on the display uh, when it starts. So which is air quality monitor here and it is by circuit digest. So code like this. Then in the void loop function, what we do is initially we clear all the data on the display. There would the display would be empty and here we have the air sensor function, so it will call it, which will read the data from the air sensor and display it on OLED screen. The send sensor function basically calls another function which we created early on and it will read the data from the DHT11 humidity and temperature and then display it on OLED. Then this is actually used to display everything we did before on the main display, this function. And it will, you know, go on in the loop. Okay. Now let's upload the code. So you can see that the air quality now is good and we can see the temperature and humidity. But as I release some gases into it from this lighter, the toxicity increases, which means our project is working fine. I guess that's it for the video. Hope you like our content. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you again.